YouTube, what's good, man? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Mouse, and I'm kind of dark right now. But anyways, man, we're at the gas station, man. We're at gas station Pippin right now, uh, man. We're gonna drop a little quick video today on pros and cons of having a big old loud sound system in your daily driving. Whip. You know, like a little quick video of like good things and bad things of you know having a big old loud sound system in your you know daily driver. Uh, if you ever wanted to do, you know, a rather big, you know, sound system build on your daily driver car, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to here break it down for you guys real quick. Nothing too crazy. Just a couple things that, you know, I go through with the Silverado. Um, and, you know, Silverado build was intended to, um, you know, share information to what I go through with this truck. Um, building it, you know, maintenance and, you know, everyday stuff with it. So you guys can somewhat relate to it and, you know... Uh, have fun with your whip, you know what I'm saying? But for now, man, I think we're gonna go do this video like by the water. So hopefully there's nobody there. Um, hopefully uh, there's some light. Uh, it will make it work, man. But I'll catch you right now by the water. All right, look, check this out, game man. We were right here by the water. It is, man. Very peaceful. Look at those waves. Man, them waves are getting it. Man, we are close to the edge, look. I actually came out here earlier and I took shots of the truck and put them on my Instagram, man. But this is uh, the bridge that connects Bradenton, Bradenton to Palmetto. I live on that side. That's Bradenton. But let's go here. Let's go park over here underneath the bridge. I'm not even gonna lie to you gang, this is kind of like sketchy because it is kind of narrow and one bad move and the truck can go into the ocean and it's gonna sink and I hope your boy can get out but we're as close as possible to the edge well not to the outer edge but just to the edge closer to away from the water Bridges right under here. This is creepy. But hey, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Ugh, dang. Look like the water's right there, guys. I'm like fine. Okay, so we're out here. Look. Okay. I got some light for us. Man, it's peaceful out here. Don't get me wrong. That's why I kind of wanted to come out here. Just hang out a little bit. But that's the water. There's the hospital. Look, that's where the rich people live over there. And then that's like the rich people, hotels, condos, whatever you want to call them. And this is the water. Oh, there's the bridge. Everybody trying to come into Palmetto. All right, so now back to business. So I actually don't think this is going to be a good spot to record the video. Probably during the day it would be. But let me go somewhere where we can have some lights. And then we can record a little better video right now. A few moments later. All right, so we actually made it to a car wash real quick, man. There's nice lights here. And we can actually sit here and have a quick little discussion on the pros and cons of the Silverado build. And if you're curious about doing a crazy build on your daily driver, man, I got a little, you know, pros and cons for you. Let's get started. Before we get started, man, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that like, and drop some comments along the way. Uh, you know, hitting the like and dropping some comments, man, helps push the videos out, man. You know, it'll help your boy out with the views and everything. And man, let's get it. All right, so the back of the Silverado, man, we got the fourth order band pass. We got an actual other, you know, uh, ported enclosure for the mid base. Man, we got the little side panels with mids in there plus the horns. So we got a box. We got another box. We have another box. We have a lid. All MDF. Uh, man, there's batteries on the side. Uh, so there's a lot of weight going on back here. So stopping power for the Silverado is not. It's good, but it could be better. The other day, your boy was on the interstate and there was a cool guy that was driving ahead of us but i actually seen that he was like braking so his lights were flashing a little bit so i actually already had started to like press the brakes and slow down before i get there anyways regardless i give people a distance you know what I'm saying like i'm not going to be that guy that runs right into you you feel me although it could happen but you know i try to avoid that stuff but imagine if i had to make a sudden stop you see what i'm saying like i'm just gonna slam right into it and i'm gonna destroy their back bumper because you know, I'm no like um, scientist or like a smart person, but I do know that like weight plus speed and force 
and if that thing's going boom man it's going to destroy whatever is in front of me so that is stopping on the silverado with this big old box in the back man that's a big con you see what i'm saying but there's a solution for that a quick pro man any car show that we go to or anything the moment you look at this you're gonna want to walk up to it and you know we're, we're gonna stand out from you know other people uh, most of the people they just have the little stunt wall piece going on but man we got a whole bed full of stuff you see what i'm saying uh you know so it's it's a different type of build than what people are, are actually used to seeing in trucks so with the door panels the back the blow through the base how much it delivers so much pressure uh you know car show wise man this thing gives a big old wow factor anywhere we go anywhere we go have a big old smile if you're sitting in the front seat hearing the bass and feeling it and then when you're standing back here uh you know you're you're just hearing nothing but pure voice you see what i'm saying like man so that's a big pro it's a showstopper it gives you a wow factor so it's a big old pro back to a con so it is ported through the rear you see what i'm saying there is the blow through part uh, where it comes in through the cab so after we cut that out there's no going back you see what i'm saying the system's done and it's staying you know yes we could probably weld a little piece in there but you know we already cut the cab and the bed so you know the the warranty is probably voided um the box has to stay in there if even if we were to take this out we'd probably have to still put something in there to seal it up but that big old hole is always gonna be there so as a daily driven truck you know we're gonna hear you know road noise and everything uh you know because we use it every single day to a pro we have a blow through the base that we get from this sound system we'd never get it if we were to do subs underneath the seat and subs in the center console that will never happen never never happen put subs underneath the seat get the shallow mount subs you can put a big old like z v or x or you you know sundown sub and a center console but it's never going to produce the type of bass that you know i want or you know most everybody's already used to you know what i'm saying it's going to produce some good bass it's going to shake everything in there but that real deal bass is not going to be there whatsoever the biggest con of it all you know this is your ordinary all-american work truck we cannot haul nothing back here you see what i'm saying like the other day we actually had to go to home depot and we had to buy some wood and we actually had to put the wood uh right here between the seats because you know we we're not able to put the wood in the bed where it's supposed to go as a work truck it had to go between the seats we could actually put a rag down and put the wood back there but it's probably going to scuff it up and i'm not going to be comfortable riding you know around knowing that it's in there that it could nick or ding uh the vinyl or the speakers or something like that so that you know work trick wise man it is out of the question that is the biggest con ever all right now a good pro very good pro every family you know ride in the truck man the kids love the bass you know the kids love the loud music man we listen to all like their kid friendly songs man we'll listen to other songs and we're jamming and you know they're bobbing their heads you know it's a really good time with the family if everybody's into it you see what i'm saying like i don't think there's been a dull moment inside the silverado uh having this sound system man even when we go out to eat man we're jamming you know we get out there we enjoy our food get in the truck we ride to the mall man we're jamming hanging uh we go to little shows and we pull up windows down the kids you know everybody's hanging out enjoying it you know we're living our life you see what i'm saying so that's a big pro you know i i love it the kids love it that's why i built it for for us to have you know good quality times and like we're building memories you see what i'm saying we're building you know really good memories with this truck um then hopefully you know with my son and my stepson you know when they get older you know they'd want to do something like this you know to have with their family and share you know what I'm saying not necessarily saying that they have to build a sound system and you know that's you know the way of life but you know enjoy good moments with everybody you see what i'm saying another con with the big old sound system if you have a daily driver man sooner or later the electrical is going to probably go bad um, and it's gonna leave you stranded somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Like it, I don't care how good of electrical system all the best gadgets and everything sooner or later Something's gonna fail. You're gonna have dead batteries You're gonna be stuck and you're gonna need someone to come give you a hand and maybe that's not even gonna you know Help you're gonna have to get this thing towed back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, same thing. I've seen plenty of real nice sound systems burned down. So that's another con. It's a fire hazard uh, but luckily, you know, we took good precautions 
and hopefully hopefully we just have some smoke and a couple little sparks and we never get to the point where this thing burns down so hopefully I, I love to drive it every single day uh, I love jamming the music every single day um, I really shouldn't even be driving it every day with so much stuff in it but I do you know what I'm saying like I love the sound system in it I love my truck and I've always driven all my trucks with the sound systems everywhere I go but there probably is going to be a time when someone's going to try to break into it or steal it and that's another con you know what I'm saying there's always like bad people in the bushes you know trying to you know just just be that type of person you see what i'm saying but we take safety precautions everywhere we go uh you know even where i stay at you know what i'm saying we got insurance man we're good so you know if they take it oh well they just better take the whole truck and not leave it with like a broken window because it'll like make me more mad having to replace one window than just you know getting a whole new truck then we can start all over pretty sure i did leave out a lot of stuff but you know i just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown um good things and bad things about having a sound system in your daily driver i'll never regret it i love it uh even if we get another daily driver man you best believe we're, they're gonna, we're gonna do a sound system in it man you know the sound systems do not end here i think that's gonna wrap up today's video man i hope you enjoy it not too much going on but you know i wanted to just go ahead and make this video for you guys because some of you guys probably do have daily drivers and you want to put a little radical sound system in it by all means do what makes you happy uh you only got one life uh, man live it as much as you can if you want to be loud man do it you know why not you know what i'm saying like who's gonna stop you your wife probably because she's not gonna want you to spend that money on it but hey i'm pretty sure by the time she hears it she's gonna tell you man turn that Hope thing you up. guys have a good friday night man your boy's about to head home edit this video and drop it for you guys and i will catch you guys on the next one peace